Thank you to our Patreon supporters. A double shout out. Thank you to Xavier Zamora, Victor, Troy Smothers, and 1010 Buns for being higher level patrons. There's a link in the description if you would like to join that for as little as $1 a month and have your name be featured up on this board as well. I also want to thank my YouTube members for all of your support. You can join that by clicking the join button down below. And guys, I am not a financial advisor. Everything I'm sharing is my own opinion. It's my own research. I highly encourage you to do your own research. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get on into the news. So check this out. There's a lot of signs that are very strongly pointing to Mandala being the next cryptocurrency exchange to premiere the launch of SafeMoon. I've talked about some of the things in the past, but now we have some new details. So we've had a little bit of a time to kind of Wait for more information, and this is what we have now to work off of. Mandala's official Twitter account says, Do you know how far Mandala headquarters is away from the moon? It's closer than you might think. Well, this is an interesting based question just on its own, right? And then in the responses, it says just around the corner, 1 million miles, 32,000 miles, or 238,000 miles. The likelihood that this is tied in with Safe Moon is now extremely high. Either that or they're just teasing us and it's going to take a lot of people off. So let's go ahead and cover why. John Caroni, the CEO of SafeMoon, had over in Discord said back on January 24th, two days ago, as of the time I'm making this video, he said, how close is the moon to us? Asking for a friend. Literal moon, not financial advice, and not talking about price. Okay? So when he said that, how close to the moon is it? Well... Mandala is asking, do you know how far Mandala headquarters is away from the moon? Very coincidental, right? And then in the responses for the poll vote, it says just around the corner. I voted for that because I already knew what this was tying over to. So on January 20th, one of the questions was, yes, I do. I smell an exchange listing, which surprisingly smells like beef. John said right around the corner right around the corner, same thing, just around the corner. The verbiage is very identical here, but let's go ahead and take it a step further. The Mandala CEO on his Twitter account has changed it previously. This was posted 12 days ago. Joseph Rybin, Mandala Exchange SM. SM strongly suggesting SafeMoon. But in addition to that, he went into the SafeMoon Discord his profile shows that it is a verified account, chief executive officer, CEO of Mandala Exchange. He was in there and he was conversating with people in the SafeMoon Discord. So why would you have the CEO of Mandala go into the SafeMoon Discord, communicate with people there, add the letter SM to his profile, and then in addition to that, based on what John, the CEO, had said in a couple of his statements, we also have Mandala making out this poll vote tweet, which is kind of an obscure thing to tweet out, and they're using verbiage that matches right in line with that. I think at this point, it is pretty much a guarantee Mandala is going to be the next exchange. Maybe you disagree with me. If you disagree with me, by all means, feel free to tell me in the comments down below why you think that that doesn't make any sense. But I'm looking at these signs. It seems very heavily evident. I would say I'm like 95% confident that that's one of the two exchanges. Something else that's very interesting. If you go to the new crypto listings for Mandala and you go and take a look at the new crypto list listings for Binance, you will see a lot of similarities. So if you did not know, Mandala's liquidity pool is tied in with that of Binance's. Essentially, Mandala is a subsidiary of Binance. So if you were trying to move your way on to being listed on Binance, this is a stepping stone in the right direction, which is leading to a lot of people to question if the two exchanges might be Mandala and Binance, where Mandala is essentially the wingman of that circumstance. So I'm going to go ahead and show you just a couple examples here. So let's go ahead and start off with We'll do CVX. So I go over here, Control F, CVX. There's CVX. Binance adds all these different cryptos and CVX. Then we go over here. Let's look up high. Going over here, back to Binance, typing in high. There's high that's showing up. 
Let's go down to voxel. I'll go ahead and type that in, V-O-X-E-L. Same thing, that's showing up as well with different pairings there. Then we have flux as well, F-L-U-X. Shows up once again, you get the idea, right? So we're seeing similarities where the new listings for Binance, new cryptocurrency listings Binance, and the new cryptocurrency listings for Mandala, there's a lot going on on one that's also being shown over on the other. So what that means, ladies and gentlemen, is that the likelihood of SafeMoon getting listed on Binance will exponentially be increased if it does get listed on Mandala. Is it 100% guarantee? No. But does it significantly increase the odds based on what we know right now than what we knew in the past? I would say yes. And it feels much more confident that there's a possibility there. I understand the community sentiment. Binance might look at SafeMoon as a competitor, look at what CZ's response was, all this other stuff. Look at CoinMarketCap. I just made a video about that earlier today. They don't have the appropriate rank listing. They don't have uh, the market cap without the disclaimer on it. There's little things like that, right? But we could still get listed. At the end of the day, Binance has not said that they are not going to list SafeMoon. There's no official statement out there where they've made it clear to everyone that they are against this project for any specific reason. With SafeMoon version one, there were a lot of restrictions with that contract. SafeMoon version two creates new opportunities for sure. And so I think that when you consider the fact that SafeMoon had in its original roadmap intentions to get listed on Binance, there's old graphic images circulating over on Twitter, et cetera. I think that we still very well see SafeMoon as a token get listed over on Binance. BNB is Binance's token, but you can get BNB, sorry, you can get BNB on other exchanges. Other competitors do list it as well. For example, Crypto.com. Crypto.com has Crow. So do they really need to list BNB? No, but they did so. So I'm excited to see where this is going to lead. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. I have referral links in the description if you want to get free crypto or free stock. Crypto.com, just speaking of that, I was looking at it a little bit more recently. They got a really nice little sign-up bonus there for you. So if you want to check out any of them, you can definitely check that one out. But they're all giving you different things. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to hit subscribe. Hit the thumbs up like button. It definitely helps us out with the YouTube search algorithm. Click the bell icon so you know whenever we go live. God bless. I will see you in the next episode.